All right, guys. Hey, how's it going? It's Deca. Uh, I just wanted to post a video about uh, a solution I had for a problem uh, that's been going on for about six, maybe even eight weeks long. It's been driving me nuts. Uh, I've been looking up online of where to find a solution to fix. Like, what did I do? And um, just wanted to share a little bit of uh, what I've been going through. I, I didn't want to replay the problem for you just in case it didn't fix it. But um, uh, what was happening essentially is uh, I'd be in a game and you know, the, the, for example, like PUBG is kind of my main game, and um, you know, anytime I ever interacted with Windows, like for hitting the volume button or uh, you know, click the Windows button, uh, it would flash black, and then as soon as it, the Windows pop up or whatever would go away, it flash black again. It's super uh, subtle at first, but after I noticed it, um, you know, it's literally just driving me insane. So yeah, so I would walk around hit the volume button it would flash black when that would pop up and then when it pop up went away it would flash black again and I just had no idea what happened and why I was doing that because when it first happened I didn't really notice but then as time went on it started to really drive me nuts um, so I'll just show you uh, one solution I think this is the right one but I did two different things on the same morning to fix it uh, but f essentially what I did is I went into NVIDIA control panel a couple weeks ago I remember doing this and turned off my G-Sync so I was running G-Sync with my G-Sync monitor and decided hey let me give this a try I heard maybe you know better uh, latency or whatever on um, turning G-Sync off so went ahead in there went ahead boom hit uh, OK and that was it that was fine uh, but what I'd forgotten is uh, I actually have a program setting for customers just for this one game and um, I didn't have that turned off here so G-Sync on the game no G-Sync on global settings so like you know Windows was running with no G-Sync so when I was flashing back and forth between the game and Windows uh, it was causing a little bit of a hiccup in display and it was just kind of burning your eyes essentially when you're really you know, paying attention in the game or whatever and then getting interrupted when you press alt tab or Windows key or even just pressing the volume button that makes it pop up uh, so went in there switched that to ultra low motion blur which is apparently better than fixed refresh I don't know what that is but um, yeah all good I, I really like it and um, now that that's you know same as the global then I'm, I'm not having any issues with that you know, people were saying hey go to, to borderless which windowed which is fine but I was actually getting some drops in like frames and performance uh, but this is I feel like the real fix uh, the second thing I did that same morning is uh, I was just kind of playing around kind of like how this problem started just kind of clicking some buttons filling it out and uh, switched over to 1080p hit OK and switch back um, and just that was just I was just playing around one morning and it was the same time I, I realized that maybe G-Sync was not turned off on the game and um, boom as soon as I did that I can you know go back in and forth uh, in and out of windows back and forth and um, you know no problems whatsoever so really I think this ultra immersion blur setting on the program settings is going to be the main solution there but figured hey what the heck may as well post a video maybe help out somebody else that is also having no luck fixing that fixing that really annoying problem um, with the black flash uh, and uh, just figured I you know give back since there's so much helpful content out there that I've been using over the last you know year or two and uh, maybe this will save the day for you uh, but anyway have a good day I appreciate your time